Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the sneak peek unboxing of the kit that is coming to the channel this summer. I'm really excited about this kit. It's the first one of the movie series that I have ever done. And so I'm really excited to get this built on the channel coming up this summer. Uh, first thing I want to do is I want to show you guys uh, some signs that I got for the workshop. So I got this one back here, Dad's Garage, always open 24 hours. Free oil changes, fatherly advice, priceless. Uh, another one I got over here in the corner, a caution, slow man at work. That's definitely me. This is the perfect thing for me to do is work on motor cars because then I can take all the time I want to to get these things done. Um, I'll show you one of the kids uh, on my Facebook groups that I'm on uh, had some of this pixelated as kind of like a surprise reveal. So the one thing that I didn't have pixelated is the snowplow. And so this is going to get on the channel this summer uh, with the other kit that I'm building. So I'll kind of be going back and forth between those two kits. Um, so I'm really excited about this kit. Uh, I will have an unboxing on the channel before we get into building it. Uh, you'll want to see that if you haven't built this kit. It's got lots of cool parts on it. It's got a V8 instead of the normal straight six you see in a lot of diesel trucks. So it's chrome parts for the engine. I mean, snow plow, it's got uh, a dump bed. It's got lots of really cool stuff inside. So really excited to put that on the channel for you guys. And we're gonna build a box stock. Uh, the other one, uh, this one I did have majorly pixelated on my Facebook groups. I will leave a link down in the description for all those Facebook groups. So that you guys, uh, if you're not a part of the Facebook groups that I'm a part of, just uh, check those guys out. If you want to join them, you only have to answer a couple of questions and they would love to have you. They're great communities. The kit that I'm really excited to put on the channel this summer is Dom's 71 GTX. Really excited about building this car. Love the Fast and Furious Saga. I'm crazy about it. Uh, Got all the movies up to Fast 8, waiting for Fast 9 to come out on this so I can get that one. However, um, we will be building this kit this summer. If you guys have already built this kit, it might not be that exciting to you. Um, but I am going to do a couple of different things to it. The major, major change I'm going to do to this car is the exact opposite paint job. And so I uh, have a certain color in mind. I'm going to paint it. And I think that it will add a lot of character to the car because, you know, it's kind of just a black car. Um, but I want to really put a different spin on the paint job. And when we get into the build, we'll talk about why I'm painting that color. And uh, the decals on it um, will look really good with the paint job that it's going to have. And then there may be a couple of custom things that... Uh, get painted in on the interior just to go with the paint scheme that I'm going with everything else is going to be box stock uh, the doors will work the trunk lid will open up you'll be able to see stuff in the back there so that's what I like to do to my models now I mean, anything that is supposed to work on a one-to-one -one, uh, that's what I'm doing to all these cars now so it's gonna be a really fun build it's got a lot of custom parts on it it's uh, is a two-in-one so you can do it a couple of different ways so let's get over to the workbench, take a look at this kit. All right, so let's uncover the beast. And this is one of the first ones I've unboxed and I've not taken it out of plastic. All I did was look through it. So we're going to go through it together and we're going to take this baby out of the plastic. As I said before, all I did was open the box, looked at the car, and that was pretty much it. As always, when we do an unboxing, we're going to go to the instructions first. Just so you guys can get a quick look at the instructions in case you got this car online, eBay or something like that or somebody passed it down to you and they had built part of it and you don't have the directions for it I like to post these directions so that you guys can come to the channel and if that's all you need hey yeah, I'm here to help you guys out and provide all the directions for you 
in case you can't find them, I've got a set of them uh, on the video. All right, so we got a little bit about the movie that this car was in. And then we got some cool decals that's going to go on the car. So I think the color I'm choosing, the um, if you look on the cover of the box, these decals look like they're white. But they're actually like a champagne color. And you look at the decals here, you can really tell that they are like a, a champagne and so I think the color that I'm choosing is really, really going to make these look nice. And uh, so got not, lots of little decals. We got our instrument decals. Uh, got some tail light decals, reverse lights. You know, we got lots of cool things. Like I said at the very beginning of the video, the only thing I'm going to change on this car, besides uh, working doors, uh, wiring, stuff like that, is going to be the paint job. Everything else is at this point is going to be exactly like the movie i don't plan on changing any of that on any of the fast and furious movie cars i build i may change the color on them anything besides that uh try to make it as as movie correct as possible so we got the engine build here there's only one option there are two sets of wheels that you could build this car in this is a two-in-one and so you can do just a regular 71 Plymouth GTX. It's got a set of chromies here. These get painted, and so I am definitely going to go with the painted wheels on it because that is the ones that's movie correct. So it's got two options here for the front and rear end, depending on how you're building it. Uh, so A, option A is going to be uh, the factory, as far as if it was a, just a regular 71 Plymouth GTX. So you can see the difference in the wheels. These are the factory wheels that come with the car. So this will be the factory front end, factory rear end. And if you go with option B, which is where I'm going, we are going to go with disc brakes, custom front end, and a custom rear end with disc brakes at the rear. And then we're going with the high performance wheels, front and back. Then we get to the instrument cluster and so the dash panel gets painted and then you put your gauges in there got the steering wheel it's pretty much basic got the seats to go in paint your interior the color that you want it shows it as black and we'll probably go with that we'll try to not make it look toyish so we're probably going to go with a flat black um i don't have a semi-gloss black but um so I'm pretty sure that we're going to go with just a flat black. We will see what it calls for. Let's look at what it calls for. Semi-gloss black. So between now and the summertime, I will buy some semi-gloss black just so that I can make this color correct. So we'll definitely do that. I'll make sure that it's color correct and I'll get semi-gloss black. That way you guys don't yell at me too much about changing the color of this car. Because I think it's going to really, I think changing the color of the car, the color I want to paint it, um, I think you guys are really going to like it. Uh, it's definitely a different idea based on the movie and the, how they painted the car on the movie. We got your front end there, and then the lower front end, and then we get a couple more pages here. Got the air intake here. Looks like your master cylinder. And then a top radiator hose. Got your hood. Got your wing. And your side view mirrors. Then decals. So we got decals. Doesn't show any on the front except for the GTX that goes on the grill. And then we got the back uh, decals and the decals for the rear lights. And then we got a decal that goes on the front of the car. And then our side indicator lights. And then it looks like there's a sticker for the lock. That's interesting. Let's take a look at that. Oh, that is cool. That's something I haven't seen them do on cars before. So, I get my hand on it. 
get it to focus. There we go. Look at those guys. That is the cylinder lock for the car. So that where you stick the key in. That is really cool. They don't do that on a lot of kits. So that's pretty neat to see that. Let's put this in here the right way. Put the decals back in so they stay safe. All right. Now on to all the other fun stuff. We're not going to take the glass out of the pack. I don't want it scratched up. So we're just going to take a quick look at that through the packaging here. It's just a regular uh, sheet of glass is connected. So should make it a lot easier for fitment. And then we got our headlights and we got our turn signals. Got all those in there. Now we're going to go to the big stuff. So, body seems to look good. There's no warpage that I can tell. Everything's nice and level. Car looks nice. Uh, don't see anything wrong with the any flashing, any design flaws on it. I don't see anything like that. But what I'm going to start doing, stuff that I haven't done before when I used to build my models, is uh, shoot them with a coat of primer. Depending on what color I'm painting it, depends on the coat of primer. After I've done light sanding, like there's a tiny little edge here, a uh, tiny little edge there. So there is a tiny bit of flashing I see. It's not something you would, you could actually like, that I don't think it's something that would cause you a problem if you just build it flat out. But uh, I'm going to do a little sanding on these edges just to get everything nice and smooth, no sharp edges on it. And then I will hit it with some primer. And then we'll see if there's any other defects on it. I'll do a little bit of sanding on it. There is a little, I don't feel anything there, but on the driver's side, there's a little bit of a mold line right here. So I will have to sand that down before I uh, prime it. It's a tiny bit on the, the rear side here. But all in all, really nice looking body. I've seen worse for sure. Um, I do have a car that I'm working on. It's like my personal car that I'm building. And man, the flashing on that car is just horrendous. Every piece has to be sanded down. So we got the stock tires. Man, I have a drawer full of these tires. Um, not using them on this build. I will find something I can use this for. You know what I was thinking about doing? Well, I'm building my truck over here, my Freightliner. I was thinking I got so many of these and so many regular sets of rims like steelies and stuff like that i may use these as trailer tires so i may build me a trailer to go with my freight liner to go behind it maybe to put another car on or haul tools or something crazy like that and i will use these as trailer tires a set of dual trailer tires on the back of a trailer on each side that would look pretty pretty darn cool and these are nice tires i mean the tread's good on them but you could see that set of dual tires on the back of a trailer. Of course, it'd be further apart than that, but you get the idea. That is the idea I think I'm going to go with. That's the tires for the GTX. You build it stock or you can build it custom. So we will take the chrome out of the pack so we can get a better look at it. Take a look at these guys. So we got the front end and the rear end. And here's the front. We got the front grille and we got the rear bumper. And we got valve covers that look like they go on the factory version of the GTX. We got the alternator. Don't know what that is. Got our factory rims. And if you did go with these, you see that they are sealed rims. They're not open. So if you wanted to make them look more realistic, get your micro drill out and drill those out to make those look factory. Got your 
air cleaner here. We got our mirror inserts that go here. Looks like your shifter. And then we don't know what number eight is. That's your uh, six pack right there. Two barrel, two barrel, two barrel. And uh, that right there was a great combination by Mopar. They ran those six packs, man. That was a lot of fuel getting thrown down in the car. So you got your intake here. Kind of sucks that you put that over that beautiful six pack right there. All right, so we're gonna see what number 25 is. Cut this guy open. You guys that are building this car, if you uh, get it for the first time and you don't either like the Fast and Furious movies or you don't want to build it the Fast and Furious design, don't feel like you guys have to build it that way. It comes as a two-in-one completely. Just take it upon yourself to build this car the way you want. There is no wrong way to build it. It comes as a two-in-one. It's your model. Build it how you want. If you're on YouTube, post it and talk about it why you chose that design and most of us i can say for myself most of us will support however you decide to build it if you want to turn this thing into a four by four like they did back in the day with the general lead or something that is totally your design totally up to you so it just comes with two bucket seats for the front it's got the chassis just a standard design uh, got the fuel tank you know frame got, got lots of detail that you can color coat and make it look all nice you can weather this to make it just one of those old GTX's and weather it up there's tons of options for the build like I said you don't have to build it fast and furious I'm going to um, it's just I'm so crazy about the movies that's definitely the way I'm building it here are the custom wheels I do love those wheels and it's got drilled and slotted disc brakes. That's the first time, thank you Ravel, that is the first time that I've gotten a car with drilled and slotted disc brakes. Usually at the most you get them slotted, but that's some good detail right there. I would definitely do a little um, black wash on those so that that stands out better. I mean, it's going to be hard to see, but I will make sure in the video you guys can see it. So we got the custom front end, front suspension. That's nice. Let's take a look at this guy. For the rear end, it only comes with one. Comes already with the exhaust on it. The difference you'll see, uh, option B compared to option A, is you'll see that these wheels go straight on with the wheel backs on them so those are like the drums and option b these will be the the disc brakes will go on here and these wheels do not have wheel backs they go straight on to the the hub and on top of these disc brakes so we got the bottom front clip for the car we got our regular exhaust manifolds so we got the rear end which is the same on both like i said the difference is just one has the stock wheels with the wheel backs these guys right here go in the stock wheels and if you decide to go with the aftermarket wheels then no wheel backs these will go right on inside these clip it into the hub and done is done so then we got uh, rear clip here and our drive shaft is going to be the same nice fan blade how many times you guys that, that build these model cars on the regular you seen the radiator fans just formed uh, I got one for you look at this fan uh, this is um, off of an AMT Corvette engine that I 
was building all the different versions of the engine I had to go with the uh, Chevy block and transmission uh, out of a pickup truck that I had so I borrowed the 350 350 combo just so that I could make all the versions of the Corvette engine um, but if you look right here you see how gaudy this fan is that's AMT for you I mean it doesn't always end up like that but I've had more than my share of models that the fan blade comes out just awful and it's usually with the five prong fan blades. You see this one right here has got three, it's got seven blades on it. Uh, steering wheel, it's just factory GTX steering wheel. Got a radiator hose. We got our pulleys here. Time and cover, water pump. Then looks like you got your fuel pump hanging off here on the side. Brake booster, radiator. Got our dash. Look at that dash. Oh my gosh. That is a nice looking dash. So it's even got the... You might can hear it. But it's even got the little bit of... Um, that kind of rough feel to it. To make it like it's wood green. So we will try to make that color matching. Got all our little buttons for the radio and the dials. We will try to get that as nice and beautiful as possible. And the detail is so good in here. The the um, casting they do for this, there's no flashing on the inside of this. You'll get some that you have to sand uh, that need some kind of sanding in there. But the flashing on this is non-existent. This is a really nice looking dash on this car. And we'll go to, this is a pretty simple interior here. It's uh, one piece, which makes it easier for us. We don't have to do anything crazy to it. As far as if you're just doing the standard build, just do uh, your semi-gloss black paint, uh, do your flat black for the flooring, uh, for the carpet, and you'll be done with that. A little bit of detail on your interior here put your shifter down in there that's pretty much it uh for this car we'll be doing what i've started to do to all my cars is if it's something that opens on the car and on a one-on-one -on -one, i will definitely be doing that modification to it that's about all i'm doing to this car is the simple things like that to, uh cut the doors open and you know make it to where it looks like a die cast car where all the parts of the car function so this is your factory front end. We won't be using that. We got our cylinder heads. Got our steering shaft here. Um, with our little turn signal indicator. Got our engine here. Engine block comes engine block and transmission. Most of them come that way these days. It's rare uh, to see it come separate, but I have seen them come separate. Got our intake here for the six pack. And then we got a little hood scoop. I built a car with a hood scoop like that, but I don't have that car anymore. That car must have died somewhere back, and I must have threw it away. That's sad, because now I would love to rebuild it. So then you got an uh, inner fender piece here that goes on this car. Number 50. Number 50 is right over here. And if we go to our little cheat, our cheat sheet for number 50, it'll tell us what number 50 is. Number 50, firewall center. And 55, wiper motor. So they wanted us to make it more realistic in the interior and put our firewall center and our wiper motor is what this here is and that's the wiper motor interesting see sometimes you get some of these kits that have just a weird part in it it's like you know most of them the firewall comes already pre-made ready to go this says hey we forgot to build that piece in the or they couldn't build that piece in the mold when they went to make it 
and so that we're going to make it separate so that we can make it look more realistic. So this is another part of the intake here. I'm going to wear this manual out before I even get to use it. Number 49, hood gasket. Doesn't show number 49. So if you look, uh, I've looked through the instructions and there are certain parts on this kit. It does not tell you how to install, but this is number 49 right here and it is listed as a hood gasket so that will go on the inside of your hood so that when you set this thing down it goes right on top of your chrome intake piece it should set right down on top of that pretty sure it sets down just like that and so that's considered your hood gasket sets down right on top of it and when I do the build for this car Pieces like that that I don't talk about, those are pieces I will definitely video for you guys and make sure you guys get to see that. Got your chin spoilers for the front right here. Got those. That's all for that tree. Last tree, we are wrapping this thing up. These are your wheel backs if you're doing the factory version of the car. So number 25 is the carburetor. If you decide to go old school instead of use the six pack and there's your intake the se on a separate tree here for your four barrel if you decide to go old school instead of use the six pack I don't know I mean so many cars come with a four barrel you can build it like that that's your choice but I am like if I'm gonna do a Mopar and it offers six pack it's always gonna get a six pack on it unless for whatever reason uh, I try to do them one to one as best I can unless one unless the reason is that Originally it came with a four barrel instead of the six pack So if it originally came with it and I do some research and find out that then instead of putting a six pack I'll go with the four barrel, but there's your hood It's got some nice intakes here uh, to keep the engine cool they are most likely fake because on the movie and on the box art it's just got some decals on them i'll do some research on that to see if these actually worked back in uh when the hood was originally made like this should be some kind of vents but maybe it was just the look of it just to give it that aggressive style my hood came with a little bit of discolor on it i guess they wanted to go ahead and paint this thing black already but uh, a little bit of sand in that'll come right off. The hood looks nice though. Lots of detail under it for that cover that comes on the inside of the hood there. And that's all the styrene. So that wraps it up for the unboxing of the 71 Plymouth GTX uh, off of Fast and Furious. Uh, one of the cars that Dom drove uh, on the fate of the Furious. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.